it's April 28th. I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop and I have a ton of stuff to show you today. So just a reminder, we finished up Socialites and if you didn't join that, there's still time to join. It's a completely free pattern. We have two setting patterns and then 24 blocks and three sizes completely free on our site. Um, so now that we don't have a tutorial, it's kind of awkward. Like I'm not really sure what to do um, just because it's gonna be different. Just so you guys know, we're gonna be doing some fun stuff with the live stream starting in May. So you might see some changes. Um, I think you guys are gonna love what we're gonna do, but we've been working behind the scenes, working on that. Um, and I wanted to show you a little bit more. There was one thing I forgot to show you last week from Designer Mystery. So this is the 2023 Designer Mystery Finishing. And this is the fabric collection used. We didn't use the oranges. And this is the backing set and the label. I wanted to show you that um, this label comes, does it come in your backing? Mm -hmm. It comes in your backing. And um, we had Brittany, cause she writes really well, write my name with a, you just need to use like a permanent pen. And then Teresa added two little borders. And then we're gonna put this on the back of the quilt so what you can see is she just added two borders and then glued with the uh, seam aligned glue some mitered corners and then we're just going to place that on the back and hand stitch it down in the bottom corner so i didn't show that last week um we did take the little paper off the back but I did want to let you know, one complaint we got this year is we sold out of 2022's finishing kit. So this is the same designer. Now last year's finishing was, or last year's designer mystery was blues, greens. So light blues, navies, greens throughout. This year is definitely has some added colors. But if you didn't get a finishing kit for 2022, these blocks right here would look great in this setting. So if you didn't get a finishing kit from 2022, you can always put the blocks in a 2023 finishing kit. And I forgot to show you that last week. Um, and uh, the permanent pin we use is a Pigma, uh, like a Pigma 0.5, something like that. Um, so I would always use Pigma or like if you're in the office store, just look for something that says, permanent pin and just make sure it's like kind of like a fine line or a medium line uh, not a thick line and we do sell the pigma pins um i don't have one up here um but you can find them in office stores you're just going to want to make sure whenever you do it that you look for the word permanent um what is my second choice for background material okay so let's talk about backgrounds so for backgrounds, I love 20708-36. Um, we're going to start selling that by the bolt soon. And I love, what's the other one? So there's a, that's the only one. That's the one that I'm using the most now, 20708-36. And I'm going to set that up. Can you write that down? Um, we are starting to sell bolts. So what we're doing is we're instead of, so that you guys don't have to order 15 yards and then say, I want a full bolt. We started with five Bella colors. So color 98, 97, 200, 60, and I think color 183. That one might be wrong. But what we're gonna start doing, and they might not be online yet, but we're gonna start doing that. We're gonna roll that out one week. And then another week we're gonna do Kona's and then we're gonna do maybe a couple of art galleries, but it's gonna be mainly just five colors, like your whites and maybe one black or all whites, creams. It's not gonna be like navies and pinks. Um, the designer mystery kit is going to be shipping out in June. Block one is gonna come in June and then your finishing kit is gonna come in July. Where did I get the open toe foot on my Juki? Okay, so let me show you my, let me grab my two feet and I'm going to show you. Um, I get this question quite a bit and I wanted to be able to actually show you which one came with the machine. And, um, let's see. Okay. I'm 
going to put it on here so you can see. Okay, this foot right here, I call it an open toe foot. It's really not, but it, to me it is. But that's not the correct technical term. This came with the machine. This quarter inch foot is more accurate than the one that comes with the machine. The one that comes with the machine, it is very um, industrial looking and it doesn't, it's not flexible right here. I bought this quarter inch foot from Primitive Gatherings website. So um, these are the only two feet I use. I keep it really simple. Um, what are the background numbers that Kimberly favors? Okay, we do have a back, we have a blog post on it, but my very favorite is 20708-36. And this right here, I did want to address this for Carol. So, Carol said, I heard Kimberly puts on her labels before it's quilted. How does she stitch it on? That is absolutely correct. But our labels weren't here yet when we quilted it. So, Teresa just made this really pretty, and then what she's probably gonna do is use some glue, either a glue stick or some seam line glue, put that down so that it has some stability under here. You want it to have some stability under here. And then she's gonna hand stitch this down. So you're correct, 90% of the time I do the label beforehand. Sometimes I will say we forget because there's so many quilts um, and sometimes I piece them, sometimes Teresa pieces them, and sometimes we do forget the label. Oh, this is a great question, Leona. Can I stock Bella swatch cards? It's so hard to match via the computer. So um, we do carry them when they're in stock. So those are really hard for any of the manufacturers to make. So they make them in batches, we buy them. So as they're in stock, we buy them. As they're out of stock, we don't have them. I think right now we don't have them. Charlene asks, can you explain when the best time to starch your fabric? I starch all of my fabric beforehand and I completely starch it and it drip dries on a drying rack in a bathtub. The mystery patterns for 2022 are available for purchase. You can buy, actually, the finishing kit is available for purchase. The full block set will be available and purchased in June. So, um, because the last block has not gone out. Maybe cross weave by the bolt. Okay, I'll write that down. I'll probably do just one color. That one's a little bit different. It comes, those come in weird sizes. So I'll have to look and see. Uh, I think they come in 12 yards. Any updates on the larger cutting mat? Okay, so that would take a year. So everyone, I'm sure Lori's working on it. I gave Lori that idea, um, but no update as of now. Uh, the 20708 does not come in a pre-cut like a layer cake. That is actually a from a collection called On the Farm by Stacey Itsu, and I just loved it. And I just reprint it. Now I have to reprint it like crazy amounts, um, but I do it selfishly because I like to use it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the April Sew Sampler unboxing. Keep asking your questions. Um, if I see a question that is comes in that we're gonna address later, I will save it. So it is now April 28th, so I'm gonna do the April Sew Sampler reveal and unboxing. So if you haven't got your box and you don't wanna see it, you can close your eyes, but I think a majority of you have seen it. And today we did do our blog post on the reveal. So this box I personally love. Um, it's called Life is Better in the Garden. And then on the back side is the coupon. So I can't show you. And these, I can't show you the other side either. This is also coupons. So the other side, so you don't want to throw these two away. They're coupons. And um, celebrating seven years of So Sampler, I cannot believe the time has gone by so fast. So in this box is a six-piece fat quarter bundle of Bev McCullough fabric. And we do have some of these um, available separately. There's like, um, just like a couple. Um, and once they sell out, it's just our leftovers where people didn't pay, but I'll show you the, the fabrics. They're really pretty. And I'm gonna show you the quilt. So Bev McCullough is super awesome. Um, she is a designer for Riley Blake. She does lots of free um, quilt alongs and she has great quilt patterns. So we picked her fabric 
And with her fabric, she designed an exclusive needle minder that matched just for us. So the only way you can get this is in the box. It is a floral. And I requested this go in the box because I keep losing my screwdrivers and um, you really need a small screwdriver. So the one that I use the most is this one, this little tiny one for the needle. And then I use this one for my foot. Um, I tried this iron cleaner last year and I really liked it. So this you would use if like, for example, if you were doing fusible applique and it got a bunch of the fusible got stuck on your iron, this will really take it off. And then we have cord wraps that are super cute. So if you're traveling, you can uh, wrap up your cords or you can use this for your sewing machine foot so that it doesn't move around too much or even your sewing machine. And then I'm gonna show you the last two items. But I love this fabric. I love, and Bev McCullough is one of the nicest people ever. Okay, so first, okay, our first block from Pressed Flowers came out in this release. And I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the block. Now, last year, the 2022 quilt kit did not sell out. It did not sell well in general, even though I personally loved it. So we ordered less this year. Well, now this one is going crazy and it's gonna sell out. So we order enough to hopefully, so they last the full year. And our goal is, you know, by like month nine, month 10, that it would be sold out. Well, this one, um, the only reason I know is I walked in the warehouse and I saw all the orders for this. So I would say 75% uh, are sold, but I can show you. And we got it kitted up last week after. So this is what it looks like your finishing kit and of course it has the um, fabric requirements and all the finishing instructions so I do expect this one to sell out and then I wanted to show you the pickers patch is the pattern that came with the April so sampler box and in person it is so amazing And on the back of the pattern, we list what skews uh, the background and everything is. And this is so cute. They look, they're, um, they're barns. They're really cute. I think it, when I saw it, I thought it would be so cute for a baby nursery. But this quilt, I just love. Um, it uses corner squares here. And I love the accent of the scallop border in the four corners. And I love that the center is different. So this quilt, you could easily adjust to make longer or taller by adding more rows and let's see who quilted this one i don't think we put a note on who quilted this one joanna, joanna marsh sorry i didn't see it so joanna marsh quilted <laughs> this one um and karen hardy pieced this one for us so that is the april so sampler box okay i'm going to answer some questions now are there fabric requirements for pressed flowers somewhere? Yes. So we got that online. That is in the blog post today. So if you look on the Jolly Jabber and you look at the Sew Sampler April 2023 reveal, we have a sheet. You can just print it and um, print out the fabric requirements. Okay. Are the 2023 mystery quilt patterns able to be purchased without fabric? they will be available in June, 2024. So those are exclusive to the box until um, after. What other collections would match with the darker reds of Minnick and Simpson? Um, I don't know, Minnick and Simpson reds, I feel like anything patriotic would go with it, but I don't think another Moda designer has the same exact reds. Can we get information on the quilters we use? You know, that would be a good idea. We could do a blog post and just list um, like the 10 quilters we use and um, link to them. My favorite fabric glue, I love this question, but it's over there on the, cause I moved it already this morning cause I love it so much. I actually ran out for the first time. Oh my gosh, he's gonna throw it at me. So this is Acorn Precision Piecing Glue. 
and I started using it. We'd have to look on the video to see, but I just started using it maybe in the last year and I barely ran out at home. So it goes a long way, but I love this glue for corner squares, especially small corner squares. But if I am doing foundation piecing with like my flying geese paper or economy paper, I use a glue, uh, the sew line or the Sue Daily glue stick. These are the only two glues I have at home. Um, but I, I do use both of these products all the time regularly. When I sew the label on, what stitch do I use? She hand stitches it. So she's just gonna hand stitch it down. Now, if um, if the if we're putting it on before we're quilting it, you could just top stitch it. So it kind of just depends. If I'm in a hurry, I top stitch it. I've never blanket stitched one on. I'm not sure why. I just haven't. I actually don't do blanket stitch very good. Do you find our recommendations helpful when customer service has suggested that we fill out the form you have? Yes. So um, I read those every day, actually. And some of them we implement if we can. Some of them we don't. It kind of just depends. But I would say a majority of them get implemented. Now, a lot of them can't be implemented right away because it might be like this big grand idea and we have to like figure out how to do it logistically. But I do read all of those. Elizabeth says, can we request a one yard bundle of Neon True Curlers through customer service? You could call and just say, I want that and they would have to hand enter it. We do have a one yard bundle though of the Neon True Curlers. It just has the megafauna, the eight megafauna skis in it. I will say that fabric collection is gonna sell out. Um, we always buy a lot of Tula Pink and by a lot, I mean a lot. This one um, has probably outsold everything she's done times two. So it is um, all the bundles keep selling out. But I all of them as of last night when I went to bed at 10 o'clock, they were all in stock. Can the my favorite color is oh, this is a good question. Can the my favorite color is Moda panel be used in place of swatch cards or are the colors not accurate enough? So anything that's that on that panel that's digitally printed completely different printer and done in a completely different country I believe so they will not be accurate now will they be close yes same thing with Robert Kaufman Robert Kaufman has a similar panel and it's the same thing that's digitally printed versus uh, regular printed I guess what is my process for choosing fabric for a pattern color design that's a great question and I will actually cover that in a segment when you see orange fabric what's the name of that twilight stars, twilight stars. when you see that I'll, I'll go through it is the glue stick that looks like a pink pink available at the shop yes um, so the sew line pin and the sue daily pin one has blue glue and one has pink uh, secret they're both the same company makes them and they come from the same factory but we do have glue pins at all the, we do have glue pins at all the, um, all the, um, on our site. Do I have any of the 108 on the porch? Can you email me this one? And what 108 would you have that goes with Beautiful Day by Corey Yoder? Okay, so, um, I know that the recent, uh, the recent Pat Sloan that has little butterflies, I ordered some of that last night. I keep that in stock. I think the on the porch might have sold out and a beautiful day. I don't think we have something right now that matches perfectly. Kimberly, will it's so Emma publish any pattern books from Lori this year? Yes, we're working on the quilted witch. We're working on proofing that and uh, she's already working on her next book. But as far as like a scrappy book, I don't think that's going to come out this year. I think it would be next year. I read on Moda's site that color 97 Bella could bleed if paired with red. Is it safe to use or would another white be better? I've never heard that and I've never had that happen. So I maybe um, 
color catch, but I have never had that happen. I don't think there's any reason why a 97 would bleed versus a 98, because they're the same. The only Bella that's a little bit different, there's a color 9900-98, that's a regular Bella. There's a 9900-98, wait, there's a PDF, what is it, PFD? Look up 9900 PFD on our site. There's a 9900 PFD. That one might, that one would be the one that's prepared for dyeing. Don't put 98, just put space PFD. Okay, color 97. Well, that's color 97. So just don't use that one, I guess. But I've never had it bleed, but that one is meant to take dye. So that is meant for crafters who you know, want a tie dye or tea dye or whatever. Tony asks, do the finishing kits have enough fabric to allow for additional fabric on all sides to give a long arm so as the five inches around needed to quilt the quilt? Yes, any backing you buy from us, Nova and I both double check sizes on any kit we sell to make sure there's five inches all the way around Sometimes there will be four inches all around, but we make sure it's enough to where if somebody, our kind of philosophy and customer services, if I got the kit today, me, if Nova got the kit today, is it gonna give you the experience you want personally? So the answer is yes. Okay, so now we're gonna tease Evergreen. So every year we do a free pattern series for Halloween or fall and a free pattern series for Christmas. So we're now teasing our Christmas mystery quilt along. The final details will come in June. The kit is available for pre-sale. It is using the Favorite Things collection by Sherry and Chelsea. And the quilt kit has the top, the binding, and enough for a scrappy backing. And we do include instructions for the scrappy backing. It finishes at 31 and a half by 37 and a half. And starting in July, 2023, we will release video tutorials on this YouTube channel with free block patterns and instructions and tips on how to do that. So you're gonna wanna join. And so um, I'll show you how to make a row. We're not gonna reveal the look of the quilt beforehand. That is a complete secret. Now. This is a cross stitch that is also going to be free, and we will be stitching this on our Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube YouTube channel, so you'll wanna go subscribe there. And um, they match, not exactly, but that's your hint for today. And of course, again, starts in July, more information in June, but if you want to sew along, you can pre-order the kit. What's great about the kit is it includes enough for a scrappy backing. So you don't have to make two purchases, you only have to make one, and you don't have to buy the pattern, it's completely free. So that is Evergreen Mystery Quilt Along. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you is something that I watched the video on yesterday. So primitive, I always try to support other designers in um, if they do sew alongs and if I can fit it in my schedule. Obviously, I can't fit everyone in my schedule, but I personally love Lisa Bonjean. So, and I love that she does lots of small pieces. So, I'm gonna explain to the best of my ability what she said in her video, but I would recommend that you go to the Primitive Gatherings YouTube channel and watch her videos so that you get everything correct. What she's doing is she's taking her Triangle Gatherings book. It was published um, years ago, so she's bringing the book back. I'm trying to see. It, I don't think it shows what year. But the way that the book looks is this. So you get 100 block layouts. You don't get the individual instructions, but you're going to use the same triangle paper, and you're going to get that from this sheet. So. We have the Triangle Gatherings book in stock. You will need that. It's going to tentatively, her sew along is going to tentatively start June 1st. It is going to be a year long quilt along, two blocks every week. And I'm gonna show you um, 
Well, let me finish the details. Okay, so the blocks are not gonna go in order. So um, she's gonna go out of order. You'll need to follow her on Stitch with Lisa Bonjean Facebook group. And if you go to her Facebook group, there are these three layouts. So she is going to show you if you want to make 4-inch blocks, 8-inch blocks, or 12-inch blocks. The center of the block instructions are in here. The triangle paper you would use is listed here. So 3 quarter inch triangle paper, 1 inch finished, or 1 and a half inch finished. And then she gives you the layout if you want to do 3 by 3 how much fabric you need, and what's great is she gave you the background yardage over here. So you would go, you would purchase the Triangle Gatherings book, and you would download and figure out what you're going to do. Now, I'm going to show you the fabrics she's using and then talk through how I came up with what I was going to do, and this all happened in the last 24 hours. So if you watch uh, Lisa's video, she is going to combine... Rustic Gatherings, which is her collection, it comes out in June. You can pre-order this right now at Fat Quarter Shop. May. Comes out in May, sorry. She's going to combine Spellbound, which is a collection by Sweetfire Road. So she's going to combine these two to make a quilt. I think she's probably going to make all three blocks, but I'm, I actually don't know. So I'm not sure what size she's going to use or anything, but the one thing I do know is each block, she's using two fabrics, one background and one print, one background, one print. And she is using one background for the entire quilt. So um, that's where you get this yardage. So I saw this, and that's great. I love it. I think it's great. But if I sewed along and did exactly what Lisa Bonjean did, that would be no fun for you guys because I would just be copying her, and you would learn nothing from me. So she suggests if you want to do fall to use this. Now, Spellbound is also shipping in May. You can click to be notified when it arrives at Fat Quarter Shop. But this is what Lisa is doing. We will have yardage. She gives you two options for backgrounds for this quilt. We ordered extra and we will have those in stock. She also suggested if you didn't want to go with a fall look that her garden gatherings collection would look great in this quilt and I actually agree. Now we only have I think 10 fat quarter bundles left because this is an older collection but this one would look great. So she also recommends this one. Now of course I'm not going to use what she recommends because I, I, I want to do my own thing. So, <clears throat> the first thing I did is figure out what I need to buy. So, I bought the book. And then I decided, okay, this starts June 1st. So, I go to Fat Quarter Shop and I just look, okay, what's coming that I haven't used yet? And you guys will remember, I bought this Fat Quarter Bundle a long time ago. Well, I didn't buy it. I got it from our sample department. But... It's coming in June. This is the one that's coming in June, but I haven't used it yet. So I thought, okay, this will be great. I'm gonna use this because I haven't used it yet. What, there are two, one thing that I think is great about this, there's two things. One thing I think is great is every block uses one background and one print. So I don't even have to think. I just pull the fabric, make it, I can figure out where it goes later. Now I'm going to show you the prints I'm going to use and the ones I'm not going to use. So I am going to use, this as my background. It has like orange and gray dots. Okay, that's what I'm going to use. Background binding. This is a backing that I bought for something else. I might use it, I might not. So let's go through the bundle and I'm going to show you how I decide if I'm going to use it. So this one I wouldn't use because it won't show up. This one is a little bit different but it's got black dots but I'm not going to use that. So all these backgrounds I would take out because they're not going to show up. So these would go in another stack. 
I would use any of these that I'm putting down, I would use. And then I'm gonna kinda of talk through my next step of how I'm gonna proceed and decide what size quilt I'm gonna make because I haven't decided yet. So I actually normally don't use black, but it's gonna look great in this quilt. And so this will kinda of move me outside my comfort zone. So these obviously I'm not gonna use because, oh, this one I'm gonna use. So these backgrounds will go away because they're not gonna show up. I'll save them for something else. I'm gonna use all of these. So this gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 fabrics, that's a great start. So then I went home and I went through my treasure trove of scraps of, and I keep these leftover layer cakes or fat quarter bundles by designer and by kind of theme. So these are all my orange, orange, blacks, grays from fig tree that were in my stash. So I just went through and pulled them all out and you can see I have a lot of them. So I'm going to want to use this. So I'm going to have to figure out how, which block from here will make a work from a layer cake. And I'm not sure I know yet. So I'm probably going to either make the small or the medium, or I might even make just a uh, even smaller block using half inch triangle paper. And I'll talk about the triangle paper she suggests. So I still have all these. I think this is several collections. It's all Hollow's Eve and then, um, and I'll just pull and use what, um, what is going to give me the most variety. But because I have so many in this size, that's going to be my step when I go home and start this. And that will, I'll start it in about two weeks. Now, for her four inch block, she recommends three quarter inch triangle paper, which we ordered from her and we will have in stock. That is her brand. She also has one inch and one and a half inch brand of her brand. And um, those, um, I have all those on order. What I'm gonna use though, is our triangle paper, which is triangles on a roll because I already own it. So all I had to buy to do this was the book I already had these from home. These are from my stash. I had this set aside. I actually had all of this. Um, so I just have to, and this is actually already starched, so that gives me a thing ahead. So then my next step, once I figure out, okay, I'm going to use this colorway, I'm going to go home. And I'm going to probably make one block here one block here, and I'll probably make a block using half inch finished triangle paper. And I'm gonna see which one do I like. And whatever I pick, it's gonna have to work from a layer cake for me to be able to get this variety because I already own these fabrics. I don't have a fat quarter bundle of these. So that's gonna tell me how to proceed and which way I proceed. I think I'm gonna end up with the half inch triangle paper blocks. That's what I think I'm gonna do. And there isn't a, of course, there's not a sheet on that, but I can figure it out. And uh, when you're looking, she gives you the sizes of um, flying geese paper. And you can also use uh, our, our easy flash, fast flying geese sheet. And that's what I'm going to use once I figure out what size I'm going to use. So that's kind of my process. And that's what I did the last 24 hours is try to figure it out. Um, Will we have instructions on our blog for triangle gatherings? No. So this is hosted by Lisa Bonjean, but she is going to, she said in her video, she is going to do a video when it starts giving you tips. I can also give you tips once I make some blocks and figure out which way I'm going to go with it. Um, obviously, the first part was figuring out the collection. The second part was pulling from my stash. And the third part is going to be how do I pick my size? Now I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of this and the things that to think about. So the best thing about this, this sew along 
is that she's given you this layout. She's given you the background yardage and every block only uses one print. So you don't have to sit and color a block and figure out what goes where, you know, the red next to the gray, next to the black. You just sew blocks. You won't have to worry about color placement until all your blocks are done and you put them into a quilt. The other great thing is you can make it as wide as you want, as long as you want. And the other great thing is you can make it small, large, um, and for difficulty level. I would say this one is, um, if you can use triangle paper, you can use this one. And it's great for beginners, you would start with a big block. If you're more advanced, start with a small block. Um, so uh, the bundles, this one that I'm using right here is Harvest Moon. This is Fig Tree Ships in June. This is Garden Gatherings in stock now. Rustic Gatherings shipping in May, but you can pre-order it now. Spellbound by Sweetfire Road, May. You can click to be notified. Oh, we got some super chats. Thank you to Donna Steptoe. Thank you to Lene Reese. And thank you to Lori Adams. Thank you so much, guys. Um, okay. Oh, so as far as triangle paper, just download this and decide what side you want to use and what brand you want to use. I'm going to use the brand because I already have it, our brand, which is Triangles on a Roll. Lisa's recommending the Primitive Gatherings paper, which is her brand, so you can decide what you want to do. I did order her uh, the three sizes she offers for this, and they will be in stock next week. Okay. So now I'm going to move to progress on sew-alongs and things like that. Keep your questions going. I'm going to answer all of them at the end. And on this, I will starch for sure. This luckily, I was going to do something else with this. I don't remember what, and this is already starched, so that makes it easy. Okay, so we scheduled Barn Star Sampler to talk about at the end of each month, and we get a lot of questions about why haven't I shown it, why haven't I shown it. We just scheduled it at the end of the month. So this is actually as far as I've gotten on the entire quilt along. So I've done through April, and um, basically this sew along uses the Barn Star Sampler book by Shelley Kavana. We have this in stock. Thank you. Yay, in stock until it sells out. We also got more of our foundation paper. So both of these are back in stock, so that's great. And we, I'm using a bundle we had, it's now sold out. It's a combination of Simply Delightful and Sun Washed. Now this is that background I keep talking about, the 20708-36. I'm trying to, it's like a little dot. It's just a little speck of a dot. I just think it's kind of feminine and I like the shade. So that's why I like that one so much. So uh, this quilt finishes at 80 by 100 and um, we're doing, I'm the way I'm sewing this is one, um, one section at a time. And so for month four, we're on block four, you make two. So I'm gonna kind of show you my tips on this. So this is the first block I made. And you'll notice these pins here. The reason the, the pins are here when you put this ruler down it dips in right there. You can see it dips in. So I when I added this corner square I didn't do a great job and I noticed so I put that there so when I piece it together I, I keep that in mind. Now this one, I didn't do anything funny. What I did do is use the seam align glue. So I used um, seam align glue for all of the, oh no, I didn't use glue because I used this. So I ended up not, I didn't use glue, sorry. Sorry, let me go back to my tips. <laughs> I'm talking too fast. Okay, I chain pieced this to this and subcut. I also chain pieced these two and subcut. So those are my cheats. 
Now here, I just use pins, and you can see these are the leftover half square triangles that I got from that, and those are, I think, one and a half. Yeah, so those are one and a half inches. So these will go in my bucket of extra, and I'm keeping all of the ones that go together from Barn Star Sampler in here. So these, those are the blues. These are the greens that come from here. This block was uh, very easy, and the book gets easier as you go. So this is block two. And again, these are my leftovers here. And my leftovers here. So they all go in here. And I don't know what I'm going to do at the end with this, but I'm going to do something with it. And um, can I tell you the SKUs we use for Barn Star Sampler so we can buy separately since the bundle is sold out? Um, I would, if, if it's sold out, it's going to be hard to buy at piecemeal. I would just buy a fat quarter bundle of each line and change as you need to. You might be short. Um, and this is the dot from On the Farm. So um, let's see how I pressed. I pressed this one all open. So these are my blocks and you could just use them for color placement. You obviously don't have to make them the same way that we made them. Now, one thing is I noticed Shelly Kavana has a new line coming from Benertex with similar colors. So we did order that, but that will be quite a while out. So that is Barn Star Sampler. And I just keep them on my design boards when I bring them to and from work and that keeps it nice and flat. Okay, this is my temperature quilt. By the end of the year, I'm just going to pull my hair out. Let's just say that. I shot way too... This is too complicated. I don't know why I started this. I'm going to kill myself. But sorry. It's just like so much work. So... I've gone through, let's see, April 21st. So basically, it's just a lot of seams. Now, when it's done, it's gonna, it's gonna be beautiful and it's gonna be really fun. Um, so basically, as I finish a row, I just keep adding and now I'm on column F. And so I just keep adding and this takes quite a bit of time. Um, so I think working on it, every two weeks is really good because that is like a good time let me just kind of pull this so you can see and i just keep that a there so i make sure i keep adding to the right side so you can see like very little navy a lot of green and a lot of pink but the navy kind of spurts are kind of fun so you guys will have to let me know if you're stitching um, or quilting with this. I just, next year's goal is to be much easier because this has been, um, I will say it's going to be one thing. Oh, this is a good thing to point out. This is going to be a really heavy quilt. So I don't know if you've ever noticed, but look at all these seams back here. This is heavy. Once this is done, before it goes to the quilter, it is going to be so heavy because there's so many seams. So the more seams you have in a quilt, the heavier it's going to be. So you could change your batting to be lighter if you wanted to. Now, I always just use the same batting. I use 80. That would be a great thing to add to that blog post would be what batting we use um, so that we have a place to um, tell you what batting we use. But I just use 80, 20, either Happy Cloud or Dream, Quilter's Dream. Um, and it took me a long time to figure out that like when you do a lot of seams, it's so much heavier, but I mean, just touching it, it is so heavy. So there's my progress on that, but it is, I really, I really like it. I really love it actually. But when I work on it, I don't love it. Let's just say that. It's just a lot. The next thing that we have been making progress on is scrappiness is happiness. So this one um, is going to end June 12th. So we're getting close to the end. All the fabric requirements are on the Jolly Jabber blog. And you use the Scrappiness is Happiness book for the block instructions. So this is uh, Lori's, Lori Holt's most recent book, Scrappiness is Happiness. I'm using the Prairie Collection. 
And this week's block was quick broken dishes. I used triangle paper size 200, size two inch, so H200. I press my half square triangles open, but then I pressed each row opposite directions. Um, Lori has a video on this called Sew Your Stash series number 15, Quick Broken Dishes Block. It released two years ago. So you can either um, sew it the way I did with triangle paper or watch her video and she'll show you how, to, how she does hers and she never uses triangle paper. So, and this one's a really fun, uh, this is a great scrappy block. The next thing we've been sewing on, and you guys, I love seeing all of your quilts. Y'all have done some really beautiful uh, triangles on a roll quilts. So this week's free pattern, you make two, these are called barn star blocks. So you make two of these. Now this week's paper, H200. So I used H200 for this. So you make two of these. I, this is the fruit cocktail collection. And funny thing is, I, I actually pressed this the same way I pressed that last block. So sometimes I, you know, and you can tell, okay, let's, this is a big, let's zoom in. I'm going to show you something. If you look here, you can tell that's pressed open. See how flat it is? And here it's not as flat because this is pressed to one side. Now when it's quilted and the batting is in there, it's gonna suck it up and you're not gonna be able to tell. But when I look at a block, I immediately know if it's pressed open, pressed to one side. Obviously, I like the pressed open better. I think it looks better, but um, there you go. Okay, so those are the two blocks. And then the other two blocks are called Puzzle Star. And I made these with the same colorway. So this also used the same triangle paper H200. And this is a completely free pattern at Fat Quarter Shop. All you have to purchase is the triangle paper. And um, it's written for our triangle paper. And it's a free fun sew along. And I really like it because a lot of you guys had never tried triangle pa paper before. And to me, it's a life, a life changer. Like it just really... It's like my favorite notion ever. So even if you don't use our triangle paper and use a different brand of triangle paper, either way, triangle paper is awesome. Our next sew along that I'm participating in is the fruit salad sampler. Okay, I'm making the sampler from the book. I'm also making the fruit medley runner. So I'm trying to do blocks for the sampler that's in the book and for the table runner, which that was not like the best idea, but I'm getting it done. So this is the block for the table runner. And for the table runner, I've basically been using most of the collection, uh, mostly the greens from the collection and the fabric that she called for here. I am using square and a square paper for this. I feel like there's no way I would be able to make that without uh, square and a square paper. These two, I'm using the fabric from the collection, but these greens are from my scrap, stash, whatever you call that. So um, I've kept up. Now, this is as far as I've gotten. I haven't done next week's yet. With this one, I did press open because these are so small. And this is the one that I used a ton of glue on. So I really used a lot of glue to do these. Um, and these, I think I used, uh, pretty sure I used the It's So Emma Flying Geese paper to make these. And then these, I just used the, the glue. So This one um, is being hosted by Fig Tree Quilts, and you can find all the information on her blog and her Facebook page. Okay, this one I wanted to show you. I A couple months ago, we had a panel come in. It's called Land of the Brave Panel. 
And I love when sales reps come and show us something that is usable as it is. And guess what? I'm decorating right now for, um, I skipped from Easter and I went straight to Memorial Day, July 4th. So basically, I just sent this to the quilter. Um, Maggie Honeyman quilted this one and I just wanted waves so that it would be similar to a flag. But this is simply one panel that I bought fabric for the backing, put the little label on, and simple as that. So, and think about like if you were going to do like a, you were going to go to somebody's July 4th like celebration and you wanted to take a gift, this would be great because all you have to do, and it looks like it looks if you zoom in, there's like little stitches here. They're not real stitches, they're part of the fabric. So people will think, oh, you added quilting. They have no idea. Look at that. And this quilting is amazing. So I just, I, I had already shown you guys this, but I actually made it for myself and it just came back from the quilter. So I wanted to show you and I'm taking it home. So um, that's also something you can do that's pretty affordable. And I did put white on the outside because binding because I felt like if you put navy it was going to like this would get lost if you put red I just kind of felt like it would kind of chop it up so I did put a white on the binding which I rarely do but I did do for this so that's fun now on March 16th we finished the Jolly Bar Quilt Along. So this was a Quilt Along hosted by Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, the layout was free. The pattern is in the Jolly Bar Book 4. Now all of our quilts came back from the quilter, and I'm going to show them to you. I think we should hold it. Okay, so then, so this is Simply Delightful, Sherry and Chelsea fabric. This one is mine. Here's my backing. This one was quilted by Maggie Honeyman. Now, I love the Baptist fan. You're going to notice that. But one thing I wanted to show you. When you're looking at this, and it's in the air, see right there, you can see through it. So sometimes you can see through to your backing. So um, just I just noticed on this one that you can see through it. Um, that doesn't bother me at all. But if that's something that's going to bother you, you would use like a thicker batting. Oh, and then my back. You got to see my back. It's so amazing. So, um... This is my backing. These are leftover half square triangles from corner squares that were chopped off and I added a little label in there. So this one's mine and I get to take it home now. So that's exciting. This one is called, uh, the collection is Blue to France by French General. Crystal made this one and Joanna Marsh quilted it. Sorry, I can't. Okay, and then the back. And then I'll show you the quilting on the table. So this one has more of a loose, uh, a loose quilting. And this one's really cool. I like the, I like this, let's see, where is it? I like this one. It kind of stands out. This little block, when I was looking at the quilt, it kind of just stands out amongst the others. And so now Crystal can take her quilt home. This one is Sun Washed by Corey Yoder. Joanna Marsh also quilted this one. And then the backing.
And then I'll show you what she did here. Oh, Nova made this one, sorry. So it's got her initials, NB323, and then her little kitty cat. And then her quilting she did is more of, I would say kind of a not small, lar not, not small, not large, kind of like medium, and it's um, like little floral florets. The last quilt is Filigree Collection by Zen Chic. Riley made this one. I love the quilting. It's kind of like a on point diagonal. Joanna Marsh quilted this one and this is this was a really popular skew from Filigree. We've sold so many yards of this. I think it's still in print and I'm still reordering it. Um, and oh and then this right here is spotted. If you've never used spotted it's really cool. Let's see. I'm trying to get it where you can see the dots. It's got, yeah, you can kind of see the dots, but it's really cool texture. Okay, so those are those. Let's put this on the table. Okay, this next one, close your eyes if you don't want to see the May K Quarterly Club. But if you do, here it is. So if you are in the, the K Facet Quarterly Club, this is the fabric. Not the background, but you'll get all these fat quarters. And um, designed by Crystal. Des Crystal designs all of our cave quilts and all of our Ruby Star Society quarterly clubs. Joanna Marsh quilted this one. In your club, you'll get 20 fat quarters and the pattern. And um, so this will ship in May. Um, we do have a couple of spots available, and while I'm showing you this, I want to give a kidding department shout out. So someone asked last week who does our kidding. So our cutters are Lizzie, Ian, and Julie. Our folders are Rosa, Janie, and Tammy, and those three ladies have worked for us forever. And the shrink wrap machine and the, the uh, bow tie, the machine that does the little ties is Lisa. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, this. I'm going to show you the. I'm going to pull it, and then show you the other side too. And this is that same. I think it's the same quilt design. Uh, the same pantograph as the last quilt I showed you. That was. Um, And, oh, did I show you the backing she picked? And Lisa pieced this one, I, if I missed that. Designed by Crystal, pieced by Lisa. Pop up. <clears throat> okay, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the RFL Thread Labs Subscription Club. So this launched last Friday and none of the stores knew about it. So, um, I actually don't know as much about it either. You're going to know as much as I do. I'm a little bit confused on it, to be honest. But what it's going to be, it's called Aurifil Thread Lab Subscription Club 2023. A six-part subscription series that tells the story of Aurifil from a shared celebration of their 40th anniversary to their history and unique production process to an in-depth education on their threads. Now, from July to December, subscribers will gain all the tools to be more confident creating with your different variety of thread weights and techniques. So that will be a link that we send out to you that has different um, lectures and um, teachings on it. The different educators are Karen Miller, <clears throat> Amy Friend, Barbara Persing, Annie Smith, Joe Avery, Anila Hui, and Susan Aki. So um, it is, I will just be honest and tell you, it's pretty pricey. It's pretty expensive. 
that is going to be i believe what you get in the first month but i think the price of it isn't just the product you get but it's really about the education and how to work with 12 weight or 28 weight or 40 weight because all of us know how to stitch with 50 weight so um we got a ton of requests for it so uh we're offering it and i do think that swatch book is really amazing i don't think they've ever offered that before and i as far as i know we've gotten some questions if they're gonna offer that separately and as of right now i don't think so okay now i'm going to show you fat quarter shop solid club what month is this so this is may sorry this is may and um if you're in the solid solid club you get uh different solids each month and they're different from different manufacturers different collections and uh carrie paired each month's blocks fabrics with our sandpiper pattern by it's so emma and colored it so if you want to sew along you would take your bundle it won't use your entire bundle it will just use a section of your bundle and you would have this at the end of the year so this is uh, carrie's may block and in here she used um Essex yarn dyed flax linen. The SKU is E064-1143. This quilt is 63 by, this quilt is 53 by 68. And this is um, your free cutting guide to kind of help you along to get the result that Carrie came up with. And so this is, if you have signed up, you will get May. If you haven't joined, you will start with the May shipment until that May shipment sells out. So between now and Monday, it could sell out, just so you know. And I can kind of tease, I have something solid in the works for 2024. And that's it's going to be um, similar. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what's new in the shop. And for what's new in the shop... Um, these are new kits and then I am going to answer questions. So y'all start dropping your questions in. This is called with love quilt kit features the sugar berry collection by bunny hill designs. This is a jolly bar pattern. So jolly bars are our exclusive cut of fabric, five inches by 10 inches. The pattern that Angel designed only comes in the jolly bar and Angel designs all of our jolly bar patterns. This one is 56 inches square. Kenna from customer service pieced this and Maggie Honeyman from Dallas quilted it. This next kit is actually a pattern and a kit. So you can buy it as a paper pattern or a PDF pattern, either one, or as a kit. This was designed by Angel. Um, we include sizes for table runner, lap, and twin. The kit is the lap, which is 64 inches square. Like I said, Angel designed it. Nancy, um, who's worked for, uh, how, how old is Emma? She's worked for us 17 years. Uh, she pieced it, and Joanna Marsh quilted it. And this is the backing that uh, Nancy picked. So, really cute. Now, this next one is sold out. But... I still want to show it to you one thing that now so so like we got the question earlier you know do you listen to your customers requests or do you read them and we do and one request that we've gotten over the years is can you please do a tutorial on panels and so Jocelyn came up with this awesome idea now this kit is sold out fabric is sold out we cannot get more um, the collection is Harvest Wishes by Deb Strain, but it sold out. Now, what I wanted to talk about with this is this is a brand new video that we released uh, this week. And in the video, I really focus on how do you trim your panel down? So that would help you with this pattern or any other pattern. Those are just my tips. But also we kind of did like a courthouse log cabin kind of effect by adding the borders. And I talk about how to attach those where it's not wavy. So um, this is just a great, and this is a 
free pattern. So I would actually print this out. It, and to be honest, anything free we give you, you should print out and put in a binder. Because what if it's the weekend? And, or what if you have like a baby panel and you need to go to a baby shower? This pattern would work. You just need a panel and two fabrics and then binding and backing. So I hope you, even though this is sold out, oh, I wanted to talk about the quilting. Even though this is sold out, I hope you download this pattern because we will probably kit this in future things. Now this one was quilted by Maggie Honeyman. It finishes at 34 and a half by 54. Um, but I, uh, actually, there's two different quiltings. So, and Teresa usually picks the pantographs. Okay, so here you can see these are little pumpkins and this is a swirl. So they're both quilted super tight. That means that I own them probably because anything you see super tight, yep. Oh yeah, this is the one I pieced on camera. Look at that. This is a perfect example of putting the label on after. So this was quilted and um, let's see. Teresa added borders. Teresa always does my um, labels for me. And then she hand stitched it down. Do you wanna zoom in? And then that way you can see how a label looks before or after. Yeah, there's labels on both of these, so they're both mine. But I didn't piece both of them. I only pieced one, I think. So you can see here, Maggie quilted it and then Teresa added it down and she just hand, you, can, you can't even see her hand stitching. So anyway, really fun. Okay. Now, now that I've shown you quilt kits, I'm gonna show you new fabrics that have come in. So I showed you a couple weeks ago, the Union Square Fat Quarters, Charm Packs, Layer Cakes. Now we have it as yardage, and this is the Half Yard Bundle. So that's kind of, you know, that's patriotic. We got two new collections in for Halloween from Riley Blake. So if you guys didn't know, Halloween and Christmas fabrics ship to quilt stores. April, May, and June. So this one is Hey Beautiful by My Mind's Eye. And this one is Fright Delight by Lindsay Wilkes. And then we got a collection in from Wyndham called Beacon. And I thought the colors would look really good for the Summer Memories Quilt Along. Now, I'm not talking about that one today, but um, we've talked about it a lot. We got some new bundles in from Art Gallery. They are curated bundles by Art Gallery. And Art Gallery, if you didn't know, has a lot of free patterns on their sites. So if you get a bundle from us and it's packaged like this, that means our gallery packaged it. If you get a bundle like this with the really cute pinking, that means that somebody here, one of the people I named earlier in the kidding department, uh, cut it and folded it. So this one is the New Haven collection. Now last week I did mention that I was gonna show you Kindred. Well, it sold out. So until I get more, I can't show it to you. But I'm gonna show you um, some of the fabrics in detail. Now it is, um, Art Gallery is a tightly woven fabric. It's great for quilting and it works really great for apparel. So this one is Haven by Amy Cinebaldi. And then these, this one is called Thrive by, it's curated by Brooke Shankland. Summer Streets, curated by Wendy Cho. Secret Garden, curated by Kelsey Swatsky. Wildflower Hill, curated by Christina West. And Nostalgia, curated by Taylor Kress. So those are um, some, these are the newest art gallery bundles. And then, so like I talked about us selling full bolts, we're also selling some five yard cuts. 
and this is um, stitch frosting. And so it's a Lori Holt fabric and it's just a little X. So now we have five yard cuts of this. Now um, the five yard cuts will probably be interchangeable. So they'll probably be like um, different designers each month, that kind of thing. Okay, so I got all your questions. We do have a giveaway. Don't let me forget to do the giveaway. Um, I'm going to answer questions, though. Just as many as come in, I'll answer. I'll stand here till we're done. Uh, this one I need to be emailed about. Uh, this one says, will Kimberly be joining Aditta Sitar's Mystery Quilt Along? I loved seeing her version a couple of years ago. So did she just start one? I need to figure that out. I didn't know she had one. So I'll have to go look and... Um, I have to see if it just started I might be able to join if it's already started I'm probably not going to be able to join because it's too late is Tula Pink's true colors pom-pom collection reordable yes any fabric that free spirit keeps in stock of Tula Pink we keep reorder forever until they discontinue we also keep any Tim Holtz fabric that's available in stock forever Cafe we uh we keep some not all there's just too many to keep would a fat eighth bundle work for the halloween mystery our halloween mystery probably not the, the haunted halloween probably not has the book for the next so along come in yet triangle gatherings is in stock summer memories is not in Yes. Oh, back in stock. No, it should be here next week. Is there a swatch color card for grunge? There used to be. It's discontinued. But like I said, if they ever bring them back, we'll offer them. They're so like, they're very, um, but no, there isn't one right now. Do I always start to my backing? Yes. Is there any, this is a great question, Linda. Is there any reason an Elmer's glue stick wouldn't be okay? No, use it. That's what Lori uses. So yeah, Elmer's glue, um, yeah, people, a lot of people use it. Ilsa asks, the pumpkin panel that Kimberly used will be available in blue again. So both of those panels sold out and I cannot get more. I checked on Monday. Would FQS ever do a quilt retreat in Texas for us FQS fans? As of now, no. I'll never say never, but my kids are just too little to miss anything I can't miss anything tonight okay I'll tell you all that after Barbara Walsh does starching your fabric cut down on strings while piecing to me it does it cuts down on the fraying what background color is a good flower pot by Layla Boutique okay that one flower pot Layla Boutique I would go to Vanessa Gertzen's blog and every collection she does she lists background colors so to be safe i would go there she has some great options you'd have to actually like you know go back maybe a year or whenever that fabric came out but she her and corey yoder always do that on their blog so those are great resources for matching their fabrics jennifer carrier says do you know if Lori holt's earlier patterns such as let's bake were written with enough extra fabric requirements to starch i don't know Kathy asks, um, is it safe for fabric to be stored in plastic zip bags that Fat Quarter Shop uses for shipping? Yeah, I think so. Will patterns from older sew sampler boxes ever be available to purchase and download? So that's something that we're kind of like, I mean, now that we've done seven years of sew sampler boxes, we always said they're exclusive, but after seven years, would anybody really mind? I don't know. Um, if we did it, what we would probably do is PDF only, and we'd probably do, like, what year are we in? So we probably started it in 2015. We'd probably release all of 2015s, and then the next year, the next one, the next one. But they definitely have to be exclusive for, like, a long time. So, I mean, maybe we could release the first years as PDFs um, if y'all wanted us to. But anything recent, we definitely wouldn't because that would take away from people wanting to join the Sew Sampler subscription box. How can I get the Picker's Patch pattern? 
I don't know. Does anybody know what the Picker's Patch pattern is? Oh, so Sampler April, the all, okay, the, the only way you can get it is the box. So you have to buy the individual boxes that are left over. That's the only way to get it. So like I said, uh, we don't do any, we don't ever release them. Am I going to make 12 inch vintage kite paper? I'd love to do a quilt with all three sizes of this paper. As of now, no. And the reason why is that paper would be so big. If you notice when you get the pad of paper, it's much bigger than the other ones. So it's just, it would just be so big. And the paper cost, I just don't think that how much it cost us to produce it. If I tried to sell that to you guys, you guys would be like, oh my gosh, Kimberly's trying to rip me off. It's too expensive. It's just the paper is an issue. How about the Lori Holt Fat Quarter Club for Scrappy? It sold out. So it sold out. I did not expect it to when I initially launched it in July. Once July ships, we will open more spots for future months and till those sell out. Do you know how many sheets are in each of Lisa Bonjean's triangle paper packages? I don't. When we get that and sell it at our site on those three sizes, we will list it. Thank you to Creative Four Paws. Thanks for all your tutorials and great customer service. Thank you. And then thank you to, these are super chats, Barry's wife. Thank you for the free patterns and free tutorials. I've gotten so much inspiration from you on the live streams. Thank you. What low volume fabric will go with olive green fabric? I don't know. I would probably email customer service for a suggestion. Now I will say olive green laundry basket quilts came out with a collection recently i think february called green thumb that was an olive green and it sold excellent and there are a lot of backgrounds in that the fat quarter bundle i believe is sold out but i'm cutting more when more come but i would kind of start there that would be a great one to look at oh this is a great question how did i pick fabric for the temperature quilt it looks hard so that one i used uh the good life and i had a fat quarter sorry i didn't tell you right one fine day so sorry so here's my sheet what i did is uh, i bought a fat quarter or i had a fat quarter bundle or bought it i don't know i don't remember i loved it i think i might have had it i can't remember and i just kind of went you know from reds to blues and just made a temperature chart so um it's just i basically how many do you need 20 Oh, you need 20. I'm so smart. So just pick 20 fabrics of something you like. You could even pick, you could even pick a, um, like just something you have in your stash that has like reds and blues, or you could just do whatever. You don't have to do the hots and the colds. Do you starch flannel? Um, I wasn't sure about that, but we talked to Teresa who works here and she does not recommend it. Do you have to use batting for your quilts if you want them lightweight? You don't, but if you don't have something like a Shannon fabric on the back, I think that'd be kind of weird. If you want a really light batting, I would use 100% cotton or bamboo. That's the thinnest. Are there any sew-alongs for the Jolly Bar Book 3? I think we did one. I think we did one. It'd be on the blog somewhere. What is the green fabric used as background in the cave quilt? Is the pattern there? Um, email Nova at fatquartershop.com and she will let you know. How do I hang my quilts? So if I hang them, I rarely do. I usually drape them over couches. There's a product called Hang It Dang It. And I bought it on Amazon. I think we might sell it now, but it's, um, I don't even know how to explain it, but that's a friend recommended it and Kevin hung it up for me. But also, if I need a sleeve put on a quilt, Teresa will do it for me. And she is doing a blog post that's coming out in May on how to add a sleeve to your quilt. When is Layla's new Christmas line coming available? May. How is Piggy? Is he still bold? I don't know what that means. I don't know. He's, he, I had a little meltdown yesterday because... We've had a lot of workers come to the house because we've had 
we kind of wait to the last minute to do things. But we had when it when we had that freeze a couple years ago, we had a leak in our wall, so that means we had to have it all dry, drywalled. Well, we never painted it, so like I have people coming over this weekend, so I was like, you know, we probably should paint it. So I had a painter come. We had the yard people come. Then we had a storm. Well, the door, the gate was open, and Kevin came home and was like, oh my gosh, I can't find your dog. The gate is open, and I was like, he's like. I was so mad. I was like, oh my God, you got to find the dog. And he's like, I'm on a phone call. I'm like, you got to find the dog. We found the dog. And then Kevin's text to me was, good thing your dog is lazy and didn't notice the gate was open. Because he is lazy. <laughs> That's just Kevin's humor. Can you tell us the three sizes for primitive gathering so along? Three quarter inch, one inch, one and a half inch. Okay. I answered all of your questions. Yay! Okay, so we're going to give away this. We're going to give away uh, April So Sampler boxes. So to enter, I want you to go to the What's New page and see what is your favorite thing that we have loaded um, recently and comment, and then Ashley will pick the winners and... Um, Let's see, you have until Tuesday, May 2nd, and she's going to pick the winners uh, Wednesday, May 3rd, and then post those in the community tab. Um, now, just so you guys know, I won't be here next week. I'm going on a cruise, so I will not be here next week, so you can just come and log on and maybe watch an old video if you miss me or something like that, um, and um, I'll see you guys in two weeks.